Nope, still not done yet. <laughs> so what I'm waiting on is, um, R, is R, I don't know. Two of these from Singularity Computers. Uh, Daniel had sent out some parts for me um, and what he sent was two of these, which is awesome, amazing, but I had really wanted to switch over and try the Proteum uh, 2.0. And the reason why is my old pump tops, and I'm gonna zoom in on these things here for you here in a second. Uh, if you look real close here, and you can't see it on this, I know, uh, it's all cracked all along here, the front of the um, pump top, the whole thing. And unfortunately, um, you need to get those replaced. Now, Daniel gave me a really interesting explanation as to why these happen and it's tolerances and temperature when they're being formed and all of this stuff. And it's pretty interesting actually. Uh, but unfortunately, it caused me to have to replace them. So I was going to, I wanted to go to these. These were sent, which are amazing. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I'm, I'm waiting for these to come in. When these come in, I'll show you why uh, I want to do what I want to do here. Uh, and then I'll show you the challenge I just realized I'm coming up against. So let's zoom in here and I'm going to show you a couple things. So with these, I had these mounted basically right in here. So they sit just like this, which was nice because it gave me room over here. And what I'm finding out with this, because I bought this one just to try to figure out what I was going to do if I, I didn't know when I was going to get them from uh, Singularity, is this right here is pretty tight up against this. I have to decide, do I want to go ahead and try to route my tubing around it, which I could do. I mean, it's just a bend of down, out, and, and in. Or, and obviously it just makes that, that stuff a little more difficult. Or do I want to go ahead and go back to this? I think I want to try to go with this. Um, they have this really nice ring on the back side gives a little bit more RGB, which is interesting. I really like the layout. I think it looks really different. And honestly, uh, once these parts get here, having Daniel send these out the way he did, uh, I would feel like a horrible human being if I didn't end up using it. Now, obviously I could use it in a different build, but the whole intention was to put it in here. Everything looks would look really clean. Gives me a different uh, option for porting in and out for the uh, my lines. I just, I don't know what I want to do yet. So that's the conundrum I'm up against. If you get any feedback, I'd love to have it. Otherwise, um, once I get the kits in from him that I can build these and put around, I will see what I can come up with and we'll see which looks the best. In the meantime, all I've got left to do is frankly, run some uh, hard tubes, which again, until I have these, I can't really do fully. Um, I guess I could kind of around the one side, just flop the uh, switch, the top tube in and put that on uh, the longer tube, I should say. But uh, until I have that, I really can't do much. Uh, I've got the back pretty much cleaned up, but I can tidy that up and just get it ready to install these, get the pumps in and or the coolant in and get going on. So we're gonna see what happens here. Uh, not a very long or exciting video today, but that's what I got. Uh, anyway. Thanks for coming along for the uh, ride on this little journey of getting this thing rebuilt and um, cleaned up and whatnot. Hopefully you liked today's very short video. If you did, you know what to do. If you don't, well, I don't, those don't even show up anymore. Kind of strange. Uh, I think they should, but you can still hit that. Otherwise, hit that subscribe button for me and we will see you in the next one. Thanks.